Yo, what's going on, you guys? It is Rush here, and welcome back to the video here on some more Black Ops Cold War. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the future of Call of Duty's 2021 game release and the fact that it is not actually going to be World War II Vanguard, but a different nostalgic Call of Duty title. Our next Call of Duty title is actually going to be Modern Warfare 2's Multiplayer Remastered. Now, a lot of people were talking and rumoring that Call of Duty World War II Vanguard was supposed to release later on this year, but it has actually been extended into 2022, so that way they have enough time to get back on their cycle of creating COD games through the span of two years and releasing one every single year. So Call of Duty World War II Vanguard will be releasing later on in probably around October in 2022, but we are still looking forward to the release date of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2's Multiplayer Remastered. If you guys are excited for this, please drop a like and hit that subscribe button and turn those post notifications on for this leaked information. In today's gameplay, we go more in depth and talk more about what was to come in Modern Warfare 2 Remastered while dropping a nuclear gameplay going 90 95 and 6. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and watching and I will see you guys all in the gameplay. Please go on to enjoy. Later guys. Alright guys, so we are going to be talking about the new Call of Duty title that is assumed to be releasing later on this year in 2021. Now a lot of you, as you may know, I have been talking crazy about the fact that Call of Duty World War 2 Vanguard is going to be the next Call of Duty title and it is actually the leaked Call of Duty title. But as you guys may already know, if you guys watch my videos consistently, I did say that they actually extended this uh, release date into later on in 2022. This means that we would go a full year without any Call of Duty game uh, and Treyarch and um, Infinity Ward have actually never done that in the history of them releasing Call of Duty. There's always been a new Call of Duty every single year. So it's absolutely crazy to think that they may not even release one. But that's what everyone was thinking. Now is actually shown and rumored that the next Call of Duty is going to be a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer remastered. Now a lot of people loved Modern Warfare, including myself. If they were to make Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer remastered, then you better believe that one of the first videos that I'm going to be making is on that intervention sniper rifle. Such a clean sniper rifle. If they were to bring the Modern Warfare 2 remastered guns into Warzone, the intervention would probably be one of the sniper rifles to take over. But I feel like a lot of people would still use the Car 98 just because of the fact that it's the Car 98 and you know it, it, it feels good, it looks good, it, it's it basically just that. Like for example, that new sniper rifle video that I put out just yesterday, a lot of people are still gonna like you know watch it because it's a new sniper rifle. But that doesn't mean that everyone's going to necessarily be using it because the Car 98 is still basically the top tier sniper rifle. But yeah, you guys, let me know how you guys feel about Modern Warfare 2 Remastered being rumored to be the next Call of Duty. A lot of people actually ordered the. Uh, the campaign including myself when it came out just so that we could replay it in 4k or whatever whatever uh, stuff you had on your TV at the time and I'm just so excited uh, for this next step in Call of Duty obviously this Modern Warfare 2 remastered is going to be as rush as Cold War was because they have no other time than what they had with Cold War but it's still something guys so uh, I'm pretty hyped about this personally All right, we got that guy. But yeah, guys, the intervention is definitely going to be one of the fan favorites if they are going to do Call of Duty World War, uh, Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. And you better believe that now that I'm older, I'm ready for those COD lobbies. Like, I'm ready for those War Modern Warfare 2 lobbies to come back. Last time I played them, I was just a little kid that didn't know anything that was going on. And I think that I'm finally ready to uh, trash talk back. Stop the cap! <laughs> Stop the cap right now! Stop the cap! No bullshit, bro! See, that watch, that's what I'm saying now, but once I get into those lobbies, I'm gonna like choke up. Alright, we're gonna come in through the window right here really quickly. All right, we took it over just like that. Boom, hit marker. Boom, nine. Okay, we got that. Oh, thank the Lord. Two hundred twelve. Got a harp. Okay, got a guy right there. Okay, we're gonna run 
that out here. We're gonna pull back just a little bit. There's a guy coming right over here. We almost died from him. Okay, we're gonna throw that up there. Semtex kill, nice. Okay, it's gonna peek, yep. We're gonna wipe out their entire uh, spawn right here because everyone's gonna be going through here. Get out of our spawn. Okay, we're gonna push back a little bit. Twenty-three, nice. Ah, oh, that kill got stolen, man. Why are they pushing up? They should be staying on the hard point. I mean, I'm not complaining because they're actually moving around, but let me know what your guys' thoughts on the next Call of Duty being Modern Warfare 2 Remastered are. Are you guys excited? Uh, are you guys kind of bummed out that it's going to be the same game from the past? Let me know what you guys think personally, because I'm so ex very excited. As, as I said, I'm a big fan of all the guns in Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. Okay, we're at 29. 30, we got our nuke. Let's go, baby. We did it. We got our gameplay talking about the new Call of Duty while getting a nuke. Alright, we got that guy. I want to go on for a high. I want to go for a high KD gameplay. I hear an RCXD. I'm going to back up a little bit. Dude, the PPSH is absolute. Is like an absolute monster. I'm also going to be doing some more Warzone here on the channel, uh, guys, because I've actually basically already covered everything within the Black Ops Cold War scene of things for this new season. So now I'm going to be obviously covering the uh, Warzone side of things for this new season. Put this right here. Let's move forward a little bit. Come here, you're shooting at the wrong guy. I have a setting on that I'm trying to get used to guys, but uh, it's going to take a little bit too. Going six and sixty-nine and four right now. If you guys already haven't checked out my PPSH class setup, I'm using that exact class setup. I haven't changed one thing on it, so you guys can go ahead and click this little link up here that's on the top right of the screen, and you guys will be redirected to that video. I always put the class setups at the end of the video, guys. So just like you know, that's just a quick little disclaimer. But I'm not going to be showing you guys the class setup in this video. We're just here to talk straightly about the next multiplayer for uh, Call of Duty 2021. So if you guys are seeing me fry with this PPSH and you guys are interested in it, you guys are going to have to go click that link that I put in the top right corner. Or just go check out my channel. It's straight up just called the best PPSH class setup in uh, Cold War. Ah, that's the next multiplayer. Uh, there's not really much that we could talk about because this was recently just rumored. Not many people are talking about it. But I'm going to, I obviously, when I saw it, was like, dude, I have to make a video on this. Because the majority of you, the people that watch my videos are actually um, in the ages of 20 or above. And that's uh, within the time that the old Call of Duties actually came out. So I was thinking that, like, for all the older people or just the kids in general that played um, Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, that I should make a video on it. Because Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, along with Black Ops 1 and 2, were some controversial games uh, that helped the growth of Call of Duty. And uh, to this day, people still actually uh, play Modern Warfare 2. And I'm actually really excited to see what they do for the mastery camo for Modern Warfare 2 Remastered as well. You guys already know that as a YouTuber, I am going to be grinding for that mastery camo. So it's actually a pretty big thing for me. Last time they did a Modern Warfare Remastered, the first one, uh, they actually did the Exclusion Zone camo. So I'm really looking forward to what creativity that they drop in this next one. The Exclusion Zone camo was basically like a cracked green camo. And it was very, very cool and creative, and I've never really seen anything with such creativity like it. 
It was so cool. It was like glowing and it, you could just see it from anyone. If someone was running at you with an exclusion zone camo, you would be able to tell. Almost as much as you'd be able to tell if they had a BL3's Dark Matter. I'm going to be grinding for every single mastery camo in Call of Duty's from now on. So I'm always going to be focusing on mastery camos as well as leveling up guns. Yeah, I'm really, really hyped, guys. Let me know what you guys are most excited for in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. So I'm most excited for the guns and maybe even the Warzone integration if they end up having one. Because, uh, in my opinion, a lot of people actually quit uh, Warzone because of the Cold War integration. Applaud uh, what Raven Software did, and I really feel like they need to do that um, again, personally. Kill uh, gameplay right here. So we're going to push up quite a lot right now. Ah, oh, we didn't get it. Hey guys, thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and watching. If you guys did go on to enjoy, please make sure to smash the subscribe button and turn those post notifications on and ring that bell. Share this with a buddy or a friend if you guys haven't already, as I said in the beginning of the video. If you guys are excited for Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, then I then I'm so excited that I was actually able to share this information with you guys. I feel like this is a big uh, thing that's going to be going around this year until it actually releases later on. Fingers crossed that we did not get these leaks and rumors wrong, guys. So I thought we can actually, you know, hop onto Modern Warfare 2 Remastered because I'm considering when the World War II uh, Vanguard comes out uh, from retiring from multiplayer and actually fully focusing on Warzone. I do not like World War II games at all, guys. So let me know what you guys think about that. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and watching. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Later, guys.